Hello and welcome to you in the embedded system programming course. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In today's lesson, we will learn about getting started with the Freedom Board and the assembly programming with the Freedom Board. So let's start with the KL Microvision 4. Click on the new project and uh, save your project in a folder say I am saving in the kale and uh, I am tutorial and I am uh, creating here a new FRDM assembly FRDM programming okay double click on the FRDM programming open this one create a new project FRDM assembly bigger so let's say here give a name as a big because of that uh, in this project we are going to write a assembly program to find the number which is a bigger okay so in the freeze choose a free scale here a free scale semiconductor 25z 120x this one okay so here you can find the description about your device which you have chosen here your device cortex m0 plus have a frequency 48 megahertz and the nested vector interrupt controller also there two pin serial wire debug also there micro track buffer data watch points and all those things has been included you can see then click on the ok so the copy startup file click on the no ok we will copy these files externally now first of all click on here file extension then double click on this target one and uh, make it as a bigger is the bigger number now in the bigger one group will be for the source file and another group will be for the startup files click on the ok so you can see here the source and startup has been created now we have to copy the startup file and the system file of this FRDM board here so go in the C drive and the K arm and here in the startup and then go in the free scale and then kinetics and here you can find your startup and the C so the find the startup MKL where is the startup MKL 25Z 4 here okay select this one and then also system files system MKL 25Z 4 here copy these two files Then go in the documents, the kale, and uh, here is the ARM tutorial, then a Podium program. Oh my god, actually, I was supposed to put these fold, uh, these files in this folder, but unfortunately, I uh, put those <laughs> these files on outside this folder. So, don't worry about that. Uh, paste your files in this bigger. okay so go in the your kale microvision and then start up add existing file to the group then first add this c file and then change this c to s then add this startup and then close now we have to write uh, assembly so click on the new create a new file i have uh, written the code so that i am just copying and the pasting those codes the copy and the paste here So, the save first of all, the save this file in the FRDM programming, FRDM bigger as a big dot s. Please note down this one. If you are programming in the assembly, you have to give the dot s extension. 
if you are programming in the C, then you can uh, give dot C extension. Then save. Now make this TTL as a tab. TTL means the title of your this program. So the title of this program is a bigger number. Okay. Which is a bigger number? So the area define the area of the code, the area of this code, and the, this code is only the read only. Here is the entry and the export the main files. Okay. So now what we have to add this file in the source group to add existing file and then big dot s add and the close. Now you can see here this big dot s has been added. Now we have to set the target option then click on the debug uh, and click on the this huge and uh, here the cmc dab debugger click on the setting please verify this setting okay then utility click on the here cmc dab sorry 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 cmc dab debugger verify this debug setting okay sw and one megahertz now fine your program has been written now okay rebuild your program yes we have gotten error the undefined symbol mail why this symbol is coming because of that when you are writing your program in the C then you define your program in the main function but in the assembly there is no such type of the main function okay we can define here the label so that main function is calling from the startup file as if you remember as we, I have already explained in my previous lectures. So I can show you those main functions here. Yeah, here. So this main is calling the C function, but there is no C function here. So that what we can do here, the whether you can change this name or we can change this name. So let's just change this name. So change the this name according to my main function main and this one is the main. Now click on the rebuild. Now zero error. So here our program has been written. Click on the debug. Go in the debug. Program has been loaded. Click on the OK. Yes. As I have already explained you previously. Your function will first execute the system initialization. So the go to next step. Okay. Please step out from the step out from the system initialization. Okay. So click on the next and the next. Now in the main function, this debug. Now in a main function, this your uh, now let's look in the main function. So the first of instruction will execute the value one, which has been defined in the literal pool. The literal pool is this one, DCD six. Okay. So you can see here the R one is loaded with the six. Okay. And the second value R two will also will be loaded with the value two. Yes, you can see here R two is loaded with the nine. Okay. So it will compare here R1 with the R2. Compare this R1 and the R2 and it will branch if R1 is a high and if R2 is high then it does not branch and it will move R2 in the R1 and the R1 will be the result. Okay. So click on the next means it does not the high so it has executed that instructions and it come to the next instruction means it will move that r2 in the r1 as you can see here r2 has been loaded in the r1 and r1 will be the your final result now it will go in the hard fault okay that's we see the system handler suppose that now let's make your r1 is the greater than r2 okay so just make this r1 as a 1616 okay then compile it here and then again execute okay so make a breakpoint here and then run 
okay so your program has been come here now let's take load with the r1 with the 16 in the hexadecimal and r2 has been also loaded with the 9 now it will compare r1 and r2 here we have already know the r1 is greater than r2 so it will not execute this function you can check here okay branch if high to the done it will automatically come to this one yes as you know the r1 is greater than that one so the result has been stored in the r1 okay thank you so much watching this tutorial and uh, if you want to learn more please subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt please comment below